Should we buy a uh, deer mm. and then uh, the, the animal was good, mm. but later on, due to some accident, mm. uh, the broken leg or the horn, mm. by mistake, as an accident, what is the... لا يعني uh, the broken horn no problem okay but if, if the leg is broken يعني you bought it from the first day and from the first day broken broken leg and this sheep cannot walk and this يعني can affect the the meat the meat because you need the meat okay but if it is broken and you take it to the hospital and they put the plaster and it is okay alhamdulillah this sheep can eat and no, practice the life normal, alhamdulillah, you slaughter, you say bismillah, it is normal, the meat is normal, alhamdulillah. Because if you notice that the hadith, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, al-arja al-bayyan arajuha, al-awra al-bayyan awaruha. Yani, if you notice that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, you should avoid four points, which means that this can affect the meat of the sheep. Because if it is one-eyed sheep, it means it cannot eat properly. Also, it, if it has problem in walking, also it will not eat properly. So, for sure, it will be thin. It is sick. Okay, so this is, this is the point. Sorry? Yes, there is hadith. There is hadith about, yani, uh, we're divided, sharing thin people. Ten people, but yeah, and what I what I see that scholars generally they don't use this hadith for ten. So t- for t- to be safe, we we use the seven, the seven to be safe. Uh, what is mandatory to recite while uh, slaughtering? Bismillah. Bismillah. Yes, to say Bismillah. This is wajib. It is not wajib to say Allah Akbar. It is wajib to say Bismillah. Yes, this is. Allah Ma'ad an an you an ahl bayti. This is for me and for my family members. Okay, but what is wajib to say Bismillah. This is this is wajib. This is wajib. Okay. Some says you have to say three times Bismillah. No, one time, one time. If any, please, brothers, يعني if anyone says tells you something, you should ask him. Yes. Ask him. يعني today when the sister. I, I do Ruqya for my son 41 times uh, Surah Fatiha. I said, why 41? Say 42. <laughs> Wallahi, my mother told me like this. Mm-hmm. No, please, يعني, uh, يعني put, to, to put a certain number without delay, this is bid'ah. Why first? Please think, يعني, think. Only because it came from my parents, my mother, my grandmother, it is correct? No. You should ask. Please, what is the proof? And if it is wrong, you try to correct them. Help them to follow the sunnah. Don't keep your parents following the bid'ah until their death. Try to help them. Try to save them. If they are not educated, you are educated. Educate yourself, educate your parents. Don't keep them following the bid'ah until their death. Alhamdulillah, now you can search, you can check, you can ask, and you inform them in a, in a, a nice way, in a wise way. And inshallah, they will, they will learn the sunnah from you. But you are educated, you, 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 are, you have bachelor degree, you have master degree, and you give the chance for taqlid, imitating blindly. This is wallahi khasara. Uh, if, we, if, we, if we do uh, behind uh, mawashi, we don't know uh, which ship is ours and how we are. No, if they, they know, yani, numbers and they 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 uh, they do the medical check for your sheep yes. okay and you you get your your no, meat inshallah they are not getting the same no inshallah this is enough this is enough they mentioned the scores this is enough yani sometimes a group maybe not al mawashi maybe we agree maybe our br- brothers i have an offer we get more sheep so you tell me so at the end we have 20 20 goats okay so i register your numbers but when i go to for slaughtering them i don't know which is 